uh, just that practice over and over of making a cylinder or making a bowl or making a plate and finding the best way to uh, have the end product to look a little better each time. You know, each pot is a sketch for the next and you just have to grab that lump of clay and start again on the wheel and build upon that and take those lessons that you've learned from the past. My grandfather shared with me one time back early on that um, it's easy to make things in life complicated, but it's very hard to keep things simple. And being able to pull that clay up and it just really responded to that movement with my fingers, almost like it was effortless. It's almost like you're filling these vessels up with air and you're like, you wanna, do I wanna blow a little bit more air into it? Do I wanna give a little more volume, give it a little more breath of life to it? Clay can have a mind of its own and looking at early on in, in my career, I found that it was a struggle at first trying to learn how to shape uh, and fashion the clay on the wheel. When you're making a large scale vase, it has to be made in multiple sections. Just because the physicality of, of actually shaping that much clay at one time, say a, a 60 or 80 or even a 100 pound jar, uh, when you make them out of 15, 20 pound pieces and stack them up and build them up, uh, it helps you to work in a little bit easier fashion We can spend a lot of time emphasizing and using the latest technology or components to making pots today, but still that foundation of using your hands, using a, a good will to, to spin the clay, and really having your eyes and your mind and your hands working in unison to make that pot. And nothing can substitute that, no matter what type of new technology there is out there. I think it is true that uh, we can be distracted by so many things that may not be relevant in what we need to be focusing on as a potter or any kind of craft, but we have to find that way of kind of channeling and putting that energy into things that we feel are the most important part of our lives.